The Office of Sustainability, again, was established in the summer of 2015. It, we really have been in startup mode for maybe the last year and a half, um, and I do want to thank, again, the sustainability team. Master Voyager uh, Navigator Nainoa Thompson um, came out to help us um, explore what lies at that rich nexus of ancestral knowledge and modern empirical sciences um, through the lens of sustainability. And at that meeting, um, Dr. Larry Kimura introduced us to a new word in the Hawaiian lexicon, this notion of mawo, or the perpetuation of well-being. Sustainability is often thought of as our ability to sustain or to survive. And if you think about the framing of the perpetuation of well-being, it really shifts that conversation from notions of survivability towards notions of thrivability. And um, I just wanted to say how excited I am to be here. I'm um, just looking forward to lowering our energy footprint and um, solarizing 100% of our campuses and facilities to the extent possible. Um, I'm going to give you a present. Uh, 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 I'm going to present a glimpse into the energy management system. Okay, and so this is like you know the home page for the energy management system, and you can see some building meters, some building automation systems, and some solar systems that are currently um, uh, fully integrated. Um, you know, th this is a new standard in energy awareness, right? This is real time interval data, which will be exploited for historical trending and predictive analysis. Uh, right, what, what's on the screen here are four randomly chosen buildings of the, of the electricity meters um, uh, overlaid over the same 24-hour period. Only two slides on curriculum. Uh, this one uh, is about a, a, sh a little survey that was done with 194 students here at Manoa and CTAR. And it just shows this overwhelming interest that students are, are showing in sustainability. We also have done a deeper dive with students um, in a dissertation study that I did. We used focus groups and talked with students about their knowledge, skills, habits, attitudes about sustainability. And one of the things that students indicated was that they would experience sustainability like a sidebar in the class or a sidebar in their textbooks. And a lot of this S designation project is about bringing sustainability out of the sidebar. How many sustainability designated courses are there in the entire University of Hawaii system? And the number is 206. The S designation is not a requirement. It's, a, it's an opt-in measure intended to highlight these courses and help students find the programs of study um, that they're looking for with uh, that sustainability lens that they can take into their majors. I guess that's my signal. Um, closing, uh, we are positioned to capitalize on our unique location and cultural heritage to offer world-class studies in all aspects of sustainability. <laughs> um, and our requests and recommendations are in the report, so I'll let that for you. Thank you for your gracious time and attention. <laughs>